guys and welcome back to my channel. So I just had a package. Okay, so first up is the red bodysuit that has the deep V. Um, it was incredibly hard to get this extremely tight elastic band over my butt. But now that it's on, it's decently cute. Luckily, I'm wearing my pasties because it seems to be a little bit maybe off to one side. I don't know. Maybe I just cut it crooked in the back. So here it is. It's got the detail on the back that goes down really as well. But the fact that this is really tight and then this is really tight and this elastic doesn't have a lot of stretch makes it really, really hard to get on. And otherwise, you'd have to go like unsnap the crotch and put it over your head. And I think that would be even harder. So this will be super cute for pictures. Is it comfortable? No. And would I wear it anytime but for a photo shoot? Absolutely not. So it's cute enough, but it is pretty, pretty tight. And um, yeah, it's just not very comfortable. So There's the first of four. I'm not gonna call it a bust. This does look cute. Um, just a little bit hard to get in and out. There's that one. Okay, next up is the blue set, and I did pull out the white stockings. Those are actually from Yandy. Um, and so far, I really love this set. It's really nice and soft. Um, it's very stretchy and comfortable. I don't have anything quite this color, so it'll be a good addition. Um, the thing that makes this one a little bit different also is that it has the clasp in the front for the top. And I really didn't have to adjust anything. There was no adjustability here, and it was stretchy enough that I just pulled it on without having to undo the hook. The panties are really, really nice. And again, I didn't even have to adjust the straps. So this one was perfect. And this one is from a completely different brand as well, but it fits really, really nice. The pants is just the top. The bra is really, really nice and soft. It has some like soft, kind of silky bathing suit material down here on the bottom with a little of a lace on the top. And the straps are adjustable and so is the back. So I tighten the straps up just about as tight as they could go. And then I do have the bra on the tightest set of hooks, but I'm loving this white set. Today is the black and blue bodysuit. This is actually from the same company as the red one that was too tight. This one fits significantly better. It does have the um, eye protector to adjust. And it has the underwire as well. So I tightened the straps up as tight as they could go. But overall, this one fits much, much better. And I think it'll look really cute in some pictures. Stay tuned for the next one that will be coming out tomorrow that will finish up the lingerie haul. So far I'm really impressed with Yandy and I'm really happy with um, the fit and the quality of everything and even though everything's from different brands it seems like the fit is still consistent which I really like and appreciate because it makes it so much easier when you find lingerie online because a lot of it is not eligible for return. So um, I'm super happy with Yandy. I can't wait to try on the next lingerie so stay tuned and thanks so much for watching and if you missed out on yesterday's again you can 
go watch um, the bikini part of Andy, which again was fabulous. So stay tuned for our part three, and don't forget to like and comment down below. Tell me which, which set was your favorite. And as always, you can find me on Instagram at Chris underscore T, and also on OnlyFans, and that will be linked down below. So I'll see you tomorrow. bikinis but I fucking love it hey like I'm not much of a pattern person because after she just wore a live in one piece I actually mixed and matched a couple of pieces so I got this little red bandeau which I think maybe I could have gone up a size so finding bandeaus that fit quite well are a struggle but that's probably the best I've ever tried also got these bottoms as well now I didn't realize they were checkered on the website and I feel like it's a little bit farm girl kind of there's flowers, so it's kind of cute. Um, as a mixed match pair, I think it is a cool bikini, but it's definitely not my favorite. This bikini, I saw it on the website and I was kind of like, oh, yeah, that'll be nice. But you just never really know because I was just like, oh, I know it's probably not gonna fit that well, but it's really pretty and it'll be cool to kind of do a dressier kind of bikini, like pool party vibe for you guys. See that the little gold and black detailing is only at the front, it's not at the back. I find that with my other bikinis that I have, not just from Fashion Nova, but from other companies as well, when there is detailing at the back, it digs into your hips and it just does not look very flattering. I think I could have probably gone up again a size in the top as their other swimwear material. So I'm really fucking grateful they put some padding in there and it's not that really shitty padding that will fall out. It's really structured and supportive. For such a glamorous bikini, it is fucking comfortable. So that is definitely being kept. It's a cute little bandeau. I personally love bandeaus that are that kind of shape. I just do not suit the straight across the tube ones. I try, but the one I'm trying on next is this, ugh, they just don't look good on me, whereas I feel like this looks better. I do, however, I know I sound like a broken record, but I do, however, think I should have got a size up because it's digging in on my back. The black bikini bottoms that I'm actually trying on in these outfits are some that I got from Fashion Nova maybe a year ago. <laughs> and they don't sell them anymore and it makes me really sad. I love them! Look! I have, don't you hate that when you find something that you absolutely adore and you're just like, what the fuck? Why did I not buy a couple of those? Like, what was I thinking at that time? Just, I don't like leopard print. What is it with me lately? I just keep seeming to buy stuff that I don't usually like, but I'm real particular. Like, the small leopard print like this. I love it, I think it looks really cute. Yeah, it's really light and flowy and cute. It'll be gorgeous in Instagram photos as well. I can't wait. I also got this leopard print bikini. Here I go again with the leopard print. I'm not really sure on the front. It does have padded boobs in it. I like that it's more PG kind of back if you're into that, but I don't think they look very flattering on my body and I don't really like the color. Like it's, I definitely prefer the, the lower cut one. The stitching and everything on it is awesome, which can sometimes be a bit shit on Fashion Nova stuff, just because you're paying not that much. You can't see your nipples or anything through it. It fits really nice. This one's gonna be quite hard to beat. And you would have seen, I actually had this bikini. I know it's, it's like you're going over a space to school or something. It's this. And I fucking love the fit of it so much because you can drink, you can do whatever, and it almost sucks you in because it's, it's tight but it's still flattering. And the back is awesome as well because it really just, it looks like nappies. You can see on it is not just like the blue one. Um, I think it would be cool to wear something like this to a beach party with a chiffon throw of a skirt or something or to a music festival. Probably wouldn't wear that to your standard beach, but I mean if you're drowning someone might find you at least. It is a very similar cut to the lip piece and it fits so